Most of these places for you guys in Florida are accessible to you now. The Hillsborough River and right outside of Tampa. I know, you thought we were way deep in the wilderness, but that is a bridge. And right across there, don't mind that sitting bridge either. Or that boardwalk. Yeah, we're not, we're not 100 miles out in the woods, man. There's a main street. We're at Morris Bridge Road Park. Look, Florida. Florida, come be Florida, man. Get your kids out of the house. Stop watching YouTube and throw a net in the water. Throw a line in the water. Use your resources. Enjoy nature. I'm going to dip net. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can... Hold on, let me get to my dip, dip net. So one of the things we always carry with us is a bucket, dip net, and aerator for collecting. Like I said, it just came from a wedding. So give me a minute. Water bugs and a gambusia. Let's see if we can do it one more time. I'm gonna go a little deeper this time. I got the smallest gambusia. Oh wait, that's a least killifish. I love my killifish. So this is the bucket. One lid, hole in it. There's just an ordinary big box store bucket. I cut a hole in the lid. I'm going to show you why. This Amazon rechargeable air pump with two ports, airline hose, and a little bar aerator. I carry two of these with me all the time. Now, I use really, really long hoses. I mean, you can see they're really long hoses. That way, I, could, I can put the aerator in the front of the car. But you run those through there, set those in the bottom, put the bucket down. Then you run the tubes up and then hit power. And you see it's on and running. These little things. And I told him that you were doing a YouTube channel. He was really excited to hear that someone was encouraging people to come out into nature, but still incorporating technology because the world's ever evolving. Really interested in that. And But he said that the tilapia and the top fish are over there to the left of us. And if we want to, when we finish here, if we want to travel there, we might have some good recording there. Park still, just on the other side of this canal, because this is, he said this is the end of this canal. The right. fish don't, don't really go into this area. Right. So they just swim that way. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get a couple more killifish out of here because they're my favorite. Yes, of course. And then, and then we'll pack it up and I'll, I'll, I'm going to change clothes, guys. But I'm, I'm in a killifish spot. I want to catch a couple of those. And then we'll go back and I'll get out of this monkey suit or as close to a monkey suit as I wear. And we'll go check out this place that, what was his name, Jeff? Jeff. That Jeff recommended. Which, that's the cool thing about parks. Now, it's, you can net here all day long. You can fish here all day long. All you need is a freshwater fishing license. That's it. And then you meet people like Jeff that's like, hey, I know what you're looking for. It's right over here. I mean, I mean, that's a Florida man. You gotta trust your Florida man. Okay, two more, two more, and then we we'll go check out the other. I want to get under that vegetation. I don't have the footwear for it right now. Vegetation is key, right? I did that one little scoop just to get the vegetation and got a wad of fish. Oh, sorry. That... Oh, oh, please, 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 please get it. Please, oh, please, please. Florida men don't like spiders. Get it, 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 get it. Get it, 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 get it. Okay, sure. All right. Got him down safely. There were no look, spiders harmed in look. the making of this video. Wait, wait the, but you took it away from me, right? Yes, I put it on okay. the ground. It ran away. It ran away. Oh, right, kind of towards your shoes. I spend a third of my life in the woods, and spiders terrify me. You can take the lid off and all that stuff. And most fish won't jump out, but you get a hold of green sword tails, and they'll, they'll eat themselves right out of that sucker. Just little pieces of water lettuce here. And it also takes away a lot of the stress for the fish. There is a walking stick. So this is a walking stick. We're going to let him go. But isn't he pretty? We'll put him right over here on this 
tree so that he can walk on out of here. I, I was trying to get him to walk on screen. There he goes. He's walking a little bit. Oh, he yeeted himself off my hand, but he's safe. I can see him. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. There you go. All right. He just started climbing up the tree. We, we try to respect everything, but sometimes things jump. All right. So that's enough for here. I got, I think, two killifish and about 10 gambusia. We'll put that little guy in there and we'll empty this out and we'll go try that other spot and I'll change. So now we're changed. Whew. Man, that was hot. So yeah, we went to a friend's wedding today and we happened to pass this park. And we're like, let's stop and check the park out. I've never been there. She hadn't been here. So we went and checked with the dip nets as you saw. And we were pulling at least killifish and, and, and gambusia. We knew we were going to get those. We get gambusias everywhere. The least killifish is a little bit of a gem, and we got a couple of those. So we're going to go over here to where Mr. Jeff told us to go, which is closer to the road. We have a lot of resources at our disposal, and it's up to us to get out here and use them. Man. They spend all day on Minecraft buying fish with fake coins. Get them out here and put a line in the water. Catch some real ones. Let's go check out this new spot. Hey, real quick, do us a favor. If you've gotten this far in the video, click the subscribe button. Help us grow. Help us expand the channel. And hey, while you're at it, hit the like and ring that bell. Thank you. Back to this. All right, Jess, you ready to go check this place out? If you catch any cichlids, Florida law states that you're not allowed to put them back. They don't really care what you do as long as they don't make them back to any Florida waterways. Jess, is this the spot? Yeah, there are some rocks there. Gambusias were allowed to put back because they are native fish. Some duckweed starting to sprout over here. I mean, there's lots out here. I just don't know about throwing a cast net. Let's just see how deep it is. All right, it's about three foot deep right there. Oh. This is a small cast net. It is a bait net. It's only four foot and it's my preferred net. Now Jess, my lovely wife, shoots a six foot net. A lot of the places where we go are really tight little areas and I can throw my net in a four foot hole. Oh, goodness. I should make up something that I threw it in a banana shape like that to avoid the rocks. But y'all would know I was lying. Let's see if I can throw in that little hole right there beside you. Right there. Bluegill cannot be kept if caught by net. And the reason being is because it's a sport fish. There you go. There's something in there. If I had to guess, I would say I caught a bunch of bluegill. I thought that, look how pretty they are when they're little. They're so pretty. Yep. One more. Sometimes it's a little difficult to take care to get them out, but you don't want to hurt them. Oh, pleco. Here's the problem with, with plecos, is plecos are put in the water by us, by the aquarium trade. Now these poor animals, we're not allowed to put them back. Now, if it was two to three inches, I'd keep it. Every bit of this thing is sharp and edgy. And this is an aquarium Plecostomus pleco. And they're beautiful. And they're great aquarium fish. And they got these beautiful little sucker whips right here. Unfortunately, because it's such an invasive creature, we can't throw it back in the waterway. So we have to dispose it or kill it. And I don't like killing for no reason. But there's nothing else we can do, man. That's the problem with searching for invasive fish is you find them by the way if you have to pick one of these up this is the way to do it everything else will cut you but we can't put them back again we're at morris bridge road park 10 15 minutes away from tampa this beauty this piece of florida is 15 minutes from tampa why the hell are you still sitting in front of your computer get down to the water get down get them out in nature and be a florida man